everybody. This is Cressy from Southern Arizona Reptile Rescue and Education. And today I'm going to share with you the feeding of our axolotls. So axolotls are an interesting little amphibian that stay in a larval state their entire lives. Some of the um, interesting things about them is they come from a certain lake in Mexico. However, uh, their populations have dwindled greatly over the last few decades and there are very very few of them left there are more in captivity at this time than there are left originally in the lake which has a name i cannot even pronounce it's a it's a very unique name um, but axolotls are a type of salamander and they're in the salamander family but like i said they stay in this larval state which gives them their gills so that they can uh, absorb oxygen through the water. However, regular salamanders, once they lose their gills and, and transform into a salamander, they have developed lungs and are able to breathe on land where these guys do not typically do that. There are rare occasions of axolotls that have morphed into a salamander. Um, and sometimes that can be um, just an anomaly, or it can be due to husbandry. These guys, even though they are absolutely adorable, I love their little faces. They have the cutest little faces, but um, they do require very cold temperatures. And um, sometimes if those temperatures are not kept cold enough, they will, they will morph into that adult stage. Um, so we, we don't like to see that because that means that husbandry needs are not being met properly. But anyway, um, like I said, these guys are very popular. Their, their little characteristics are very popular right now. The faces, the gills. Um, you'll see a lot of stuffed animals. You see a lot of stickers. You see a lot of um, character marketing with the axolotls currently. But they are very difficult to care for because they do require... Um, a great deal of time to properly care for them. They have to have, um, they have to be fed a special diet, of course. Uh, these guys right now are eating some frozen blood worms. Uh, they can also eat small earthworms or pieces of earthworms as they grow. Uh, but their temperatures have to be very cold. Um, they prefer something like around 55 uh, to 59 degrees in order for them to be happy. And that's hard for a lot of people to accommodate. So sometimes a chiller would need to be kept um, with, their, with their tank to keep that water level cold. It also needs to be kept clean and aerated so that they are able to get plenty of oxygen. Um, so if you have any other questions about axolotls or you think you're ready for a commitment and want to add one of these adorable little guys to your to your collection or to your family. Uh, we do still have a few currently available. So feel free to send us a text message to 808-747-6445. And we would be happy to discuss adopting an axolotl um, into your family. So thank you again, everybody, for your support. And hope you enjoyed watching our cute little axolotl faces today. Thank you.